Hey. Oh my God, how did I follow that? There's a lot of dancing up here. Oh my God. I feel like I should take some clothes off or something. I don't know. If you meet my mom, my mom is amazing. You know, and I know everyone's like, oh God, she's going to talk about her mom to the therapy session. Okay, yeah, you have five minutes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but, I mean, my mom, you know, I was just, I just came out of the army. I just got out of the army in June. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. And I actually, I actually did deploy. I deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. Survived both. So I do, I actually feel like an actual true survivor. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's in Afghanistan a year ago. That shit sucked. <laughs> I, I don't recommend it. When I told my parents I was getting out, they got really excited, you know, first. But of course, you know, as mothers do, they're like, she was like, well, what are you going to do with your life? You're not living at home. I was like, Mom, I would never, ever, really not for like two weeks or anything? <laughs> it's like, no, you were out. It's like, okay. So I get out of the military. I was like, Mom, you know what? I found out you're allowed one cosmetic surgery when you get out of the army. One free cosmetic surgery. I kind of got a little excited about that, I'm not gonna lie. And normally it's for like, you know, women with big breasts, you can get a breast reduction. Okay, first of all, why would you want to do that? <laughs> I obviously wouldn't know. But, uh, so I tell my mom, I'm like joking with her, but I was like, you know, I was thinking about possibly getting like laser hair removal, right? Because how amazing would it be, ladies, to never shave again, right? Never shave again. No razor burn or anything. And my mom, without missing a beat, she's on the bed flipping through a magazine, and she's like, well, why wouldn't you just get a nose job? I was like, <laughs> mom, what? She goes, yeah, or a tummy tuck. I was like, are you serious right now? Who says, whose mother says that to their daughter? Are you kidding me? She's like, <laughs> Oh my god, and I'm thinking she's about to apologize. No, she's like, I can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> this thing just came to me. And I just said that, but actually, honestly, why not? I mean, it's free. It's like, I need a, I, I need a tummy tuck? Are you kidding? Where? She's like, well, when you bend over, the little flap comes over your jeans. I'm like, that's called intestines, mom. <laughs> they can't tuck that in anymore. <laughs> Oh, my mom. My dad comes in. I'm like, Dad, did you hear what mom said? She said I should get a nose job. He's, she's, he's like, well, you do have my nose. Like, God, this is the worst family ever. You guys suck. Well, my dad, that's like the one time he actually has an opinion about anything. Because normally, when I ask him, he's always he always plays Switzerland. You know, I mean, I'm sitting there. I remember being 12 years old, though. I remember being pinned down by doctors. I used to get ear infections, horrible ear infections when I was a kid. I'm pinned down by like five nurses, two male doctors. I'm screaming bloody murder. They're trying to get shit out of my ear. I'm like, Daddy! Daddy! And he's sitting there reading a book. And he's just flipping through the pages. I'm sitting there screaming bloody murder. I was like, Dad, afterwards, so traumatized. I'm like, Dad, why would you do that? Why would you just hold my hand? He's like, well, then I would have cried. <laughs> All right, that's my time, guys and gentlemen. Thank you, and have a good night.